Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So a few weeks ago, a very dear friend of mine, Debbie Nielsen, asked me if I would make costumes for a short play that she'd written for the Short and Sweet Festival. I of course jumped at the idea. So I went along to a rehearsal and I met the director, David Berry. I met George Burgess, who is cast as Prince Edward. And I also met Greg Thornton, who is cast as the auntie. And of course, Debbie was there because she's playing Giselle, the princess. They needed me to make two costumes, one for Giselle, and one for Prince Edward. So I measured them both up and then we discussed ideas to get a better picture of what we we're actually looking at for these costumes. So in this video I'm going to be showing you my process of making Princess Giselle and Prince Edward's costumes for the short play Not So Enchanted. For the fabric I have a blue floral cotton as the main fabric, a pale blue lining silk and a white stretch polyester silk for the underskirt. For decoration, there are some pink ribbon flowers, narrow pink and wide blue satin ribbons, as well as cotton lace. I will be using the McCall's M6030 pattern. For the bodice, pin the bodice side front to bodice front and stitch. Pin and stitch the bodice side back to back pieces. Pin and stitch the bodice together at the side seams. Do the same thing for the lining. Iron open each seam and for the lining, turn and iron a 1.5cm seam allowance along the lower edge. With right sides together, pin the bodice outer to lining along the neckline and stitch. For the sleeves, iron up a 1.5cm seam on one edge of the sleeve band, then stitch the sleeve band ends together. Gather stitch the upper edge and stitch the underarm seam together forming a tube. Roll the sleeve seam over twice and stitch in place. This will give it extra hold and will prevent fraying as it is not lined. Gather stitch the lower sleeve edge and gather to fit sleeve band. With right sides together, Stitch the sleeve to the sleeve band, evening out the gathers as you go. Fold the sleeve band to the inside, pin and slip stitch the cuff in place. Stitch the shoulder band to the sleeve between large dots, evening out the gathers as you go. It was at this point I did a fitting with Debbie and I pinned and stitched the sleeve to the bodice, but I didn't film this as fittings often leave actors in varying states of undress. Moving on to the skirt, stitch the inner skirt back to inner skirt front, leaving an opening above the large circle. Do the same for the outer skirt fabric and lining. Before finishing the front edges of the outer skirt, base stitch the lace down each front panel centre seam, with the scalloped edge facing inwards. Pin lining to outer fabric and stitch together. Place the inner skirt inside the outer skirt and pin around the waistline. Pin the outer bodice fabric to the top of the skirt piece and stitch. I gathered the centre back of the skirt ever so slightly to ensure the skirt fit the bodice waistline exactly. Hem the outer skirt by folding the outer fabric inwards and the lining outwards, kind of like tucking the ends in. For the inner skirt, use bias binding to hem this as it is a stretch fabric that has been cut on the bias. To finish off, insert some eyelets, decorate with the ribbon flowers and lace and add a blue ribbon around the waist but you can, of course, decorate this in any way you like. And this is the finished dress. Thank you. 
For the fabric, I have a double stretch velvet in the color wine. It was important I had a fabric that had a two-way stretch, but I'm not gonna lie, it was the hardest fabric to work with and I will avoid it if I can in the future. To line the velvet, I have a black stretch polyester and to create the puff sleeves, I have a cream cotton sateen. To line the velvet cape, I used a yellow satin and some cotton voile for the undershirt. For decoration, I have some gold brocade, wide wine colored satin ribbon, and two types of elastic and real leather strapping. I also have gold eyelets to attach the sleeves to the vest. For the patterns, I used three. The Simplicity 1505 will be the vest pieces, the Butterick B6537 for the puff sleeves, and the Simplicity 3758 for the undershirt. I don't show the making of the undershirt in this video, but if you would like to see me make one, leave a comment below. To start the vest, it is important to base stitch the center V shape as this fabric will stretch out of shape when cut. Pin and stitch the front side pieces to the center front and the same for the lining. Stitch the front pieces to the back piece at the side seams. To make the sleeve, ensure the bicep, wrist and length are well tailored to the arm measurement as this will create the inner tube for the puff sleeve. Stitch down the sleeve seam and finish the cuff with a rolled hem secured with a zigzag stitch. Something to keep in mind when sewing with velvet, always try to sew with the pile of the fabric, in this case upwards, as this makes it a thousand times easier and the fabric won't slip away as quickly. To create the puff sleeve, use the butterick pattern piece and pin and stitch the sleeve edges together. Gather stitch both the top and the bottom edges of the puff sleeve and pull to an approximate size. With right sides together, pin the lower edge of the puff sleeve to the velvet sleeve, about 20 centimeters down from the shoulder seam. Secure in place with a zigzag stitch. Using a zigzag stitch is important as it allows the fabric to stretch. Turn the puff sleeve the right way out and pin to the shoulder seam. Fill with some stuffing to your desired fullness. For the sleeve decoration, cut and glue the ends of some gold strips of braid. Then cut and melt the ends of some wide satin ribbon. I did this with a candle, but a lighter would work just as well. Stitch the gold braid to the ribbon in a wavy design. Place evenly over the puff sleeves and secure with some hand stitching. Finish the shoulder seam with a zigzag and some elastic. Duplicate eyelets around the top shoulder edge of both the sleeve and the vest and attach with the leather cord. I also made a cape, but I didn't film this process. If you would like to see my cape making process, please leave a comment below. I paired this wonderful shirt and vest combo with some deep red stretch pants and finished it off with a highly decorative gold applique. It really adds the fairy tale factor. And here is the finished product. went really well. They won their round, which means they're going to be in the finals in April. I would also like to thank all involved for such a great experience. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.